when I popped off. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the zoom scope effect in DaVinci Resolve. I can't say I discovered this effect myself, but I've not seen any other like YouTube videos whatsoever about this topic on DaVinci Resolve. This is like a very, um, very uh, common effect you see in like pretty much any well edited montages and I've not seen it used in DaVinci Resolve before but today I'm going to be showing you how we could actually use it and how to do it in DaVinci Resolve so um you, you guys already saw the clip so here let's just get right into it so we have just a clip here there's no audio for now I might add an audio later but it's not about the audio for now first things first we have the zoom in, zoom in part so we're gonna want to make that longer so we go into retime curve cl click on the the little drop down arrow click on retime speed and then we get this thing and then we, we want to make it slow when it starts zooming in so we can have more time to work with and the effect looks cleaner so i'm just using my arrow keys here just scrubbing through this this is a 30 fps um clip i think so 30 fps i'd say the most you could speed it down to is probably 80 percent um or like 60 I, I let's see if 60 percent works 60% seems to work fine. We could probably slow that down a little more. Let's see if 40% works. It seems a little choppy, but so I think 45 looks good. 45 doesn't look that choppy. So yeah, we have the clip. He zooms in for a bit and what we're, we're going to be doing is taking this part where he zooms in. We're going to cut it off right when the scope starts. So not this frame, the frame after that around like here. Don't f um, just start here. Like it doesn't have to be fully zoomed in yet. But anyways, that's good. Now we're going to go back. This is the last frame he is zoomed in, so we're going to cut that here. And this is the only part we're going to be working with, really. So first you want to go to the color tab, and you want to go ahead and select, just go ahead, don't look at any of these. This might look different for you, but you want to go to the uh, window tab. Um, it looks like this the logo looks like this and you want to go down until you find the circle this is the mask we're going to be working with this is the window we're going to be working with um, we're, first you want to take the um, outside one the red one and you want to drag it in a little bit you don't you don't want it to be um, gone you want to see a little bit of it so there's a little bit of softness net left, but don't do it. Don't leave a default because it's way too soft on the default setting. And now we just resize it so that it is around the actual Fortnite scope. Do not do it around the act like the entire scope thing because I don't know why it just looks really ugly. But here, um, just zoom it out and press Command Plus to like get a better view of it you do that. and then up top here looks fine. Um, yeah that looks pretty fine now we go to the notes tab right click and add an alpha output um, this basically is just an output and you drag the blue one here into the blue um, circle here. So drag the blue one here, the blue circle here, drop, drop it, and then you can see the background is gone. You could leave it here, but 
we could add in a, another background but right now it's just this so what, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make it um don't change the password um we're gonna go to the first frame on it keyframe zoom and keyframe rotation angle these are the two you want to be keyframing and then go to around like the like almost the end part but not the complete end like about around here three quarters of the way through i'd say and then you want to do the rotation angle keyframe again and go to the last frame um keyframe everything again and now you just want to go to the middle frame which is over here you want to zoom out you could zoom in if you want but i just personally like zooming out more and you want to change the rotation angle a little bit we don't probably don't need to zoom out that much but that looks nice okay so right now let's see how it looks it just looks pretty plain you could see the zoom scope effect so now what you want to do is you want to just get a random cinematic like anything is fine but you want it to be related though like you could do anything as the background for this but you want it to be related but for the sake of this video it doesn't really have to be related and we could just go in just i'm just gonna go find one real quick so i just dragged in a random cinematic with um with the skin running with a sniper what you want to do is you want to cut off like when she's around in the middle to from here like you want to have her mostly be in the middle of the cinematic so control b here starts from here and we want her to stop here but the thing is it's still too long for it so we could just cut it down even more um You want her, the skin to be in the middle, middle mostly. So here, this is good. This is about the right length. We could just delete the rest of it and really just have the clip be perfectly synced over. Now this isn't good because you can't really see it, but we could invert it for now but we don't need to do that either so really what you have to do is drag this clip over you want to have it over the cinematic so it's like this but right now it still looks really bad because it's just her running and she's blocked off too so what you want to do is go to effects over here fx library turn it on go to effect no go to open fx and scroll all the way down until you find mirror or you could just type in mirrors um it's here so you want to drag it onto the cinematic and let it go so right now it's really weird but you could click on the open fx tab and you could adjust it for example, the X position probably would be good here. And you don't want this to be in the middle either. So you could just click on over here. It's the transform one. You could just drag it over here. So she appears over here. But that, then that changes the where she is. So you could just drag that over again. So yeah, that looks pretty good um it probably won't play well because i'm recording but it's fine here's you already saw what it looks like it just looks really clean and yeah that's pretty much it it didn't take that long i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out um 
this is pretty much it i'd probably recommend putting on another color cc over this so it looks better but this is pretty much it and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm out peace